So you're probably looking around trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Why is Shiba Inu down 9%? You're, you're actively searching. Well, I've got uh, the answers for you here in this video and we're going to jump into this. Okay, so I'm going to say up front, this is not, I repeat, not a Shiba Inu specific problem. There's not something that's changed inside of the Shiba Inu ecosystem. There's not some piece of bad news that is specifically around Shiba Inu that is specific to them. Okay, What you're looking at is a one-two punch here on a global level. Uh, we have one global event and we have that it relates to Bitcoin and the overall uh, crypto. And then we've got a massive event uh, here in the United States having to do with the uh, Federal Reserve, etc. And we're going to jump into that. Okay. So right here, right now, as I said, Shiba Inu is down 9%. And it's, like I said, it's not a specific Shiba Inu event. If you want to kind of look for what is going on, you have to do what I call zoom out. You have to move out and look at the overall market. 2.15 trillion down 9.4%. There's been over 200 billion dollars uh, of market cap evaporated in uh, the last 24 hours. It's crazy. 200 billion dollars evaporated from crypto markets as Bitcoin drops to a three month low, month low. Okay, so you're like, all right, well, Austin, what does this have to do with Bitcoin? Well, if you look at what's going on, we're gonna talk about the first global the first global event. Okay, so remember that Shiba Inu follows the major markets. And when the major market is down 9.4, I can't remember, I can't remember in gosh, the last six, seven plus months outside of a derivative, outside of a derivatives based uh, flash crash that we had when we even were close to being down 9.4% across the entire board. And you look at, look at this right here, Bitcoin in the last 24 hours is down 7%. Ethereum in the last 24 hours is down 11%. So quite a uh, dramatic turn down. Uh, Bitcoin's at 42.9 and Ethereum, is, <clears throat> excuse me, is at 33.5. Okay, so the first global event that's happened is that we've had a, a situation developing in Kazakhstan. You might be going, well, what the heck does that matter? It's a relatively small country, uh, et cetera. Well, it does matter. It matters because of this right here. For, I got three, three, three pieces of content highlighted green. Violent protests have, have erupted over the soaring cost of fuel in Kazakhstan. And the president, uh, Toka, Tokayev, I'm not saying that right, but you get my point. President Tokayev has sacked his government and declared a state of emergency. On his orders, the largest telecom provider in his country uh, shut down the internet, the internet to interrupt communications among the opposition ranks. Okay, so this is kind of a political situation that was developing his country, rising fuel costs, a, an overall massive state of unrest. But here in the blue, this is what happened. When the web goes down, miners can't communicate with the Bitcoin network. The hash rate, the random codes that win fresh awards of Bitcoin collapses. A few hours into the outage, Larry Cermak of the crypto news and research uh, site tweeted that full 12% of Bitcoin's world computation power had, had vanished. What does that mean? That means that 12% of Bitcoin's worldwide computational power pre cre creating new Bitcoins had vanished. So basically 12% of the world's Bitcoin supply is no longer being produced as of right now because of this power, uh, this power struggle and this political unrest, etc., that's going on in Kazakhstan. It's a big deal. That's one of the major reasons that we saw just like boom, boom. I mean, look at look at the look at the price section in the chart. Look at the charts right here where my cursor is. Look how much it went down like that. Okay, again, remember Bitcoin and Ethereum drive everything. Bitcoin drives it and then it and then it rolls into Ethereum, etc. Okay. The other thing that has happened again to impact Shiba Inu, why Shiba Inu is low, is that the Fed <clears throat> the Federal Reserve came out yesterday and basically said they're going to stop injecting liquidity into the markets, that they're going to tighten, uh, they're basically going to tighten up their monetary policies and had it has a direct effect on cryptocurrency. Okay. It's also, it has to do with everything going on uh, globally with global supply chains, the overall kind of economic conditions uh, that have to do with COVID and all the implications there. It has to do with everything uh, that the monetary policy is is now putting into place that's coming from the Fed. Basically, they're tightening up on their monetary policy as it relates to the equity markets, as it relates to the all the markets, really. Okay, and uh, they're going to stop injecting liquidity. They're going to just gotta stop injecting money. All of this elevated inflation is not a new story, but the Fed is an evolving one. Okay. Um, 
uh, let's see, the, the Fed is talking about tapering of bond purchases and higher rates are front and center, which helps concentrate mines. The fact that they're doing this and they're going to start raising rates and things like that um, has, has impacted the overall the overall equity in stock markets. As in it's, it's affected crypto. It's pervasive. That's what's going on with Shiba Inu, guys. That's why it is down. This is a, this is a, these are global situations uh, and, and a big one here in the United States with this Fed scenario that's playing out. We're just going to have to write it out. Personally, I am not selling. I am simply writing it out and uh, just weathering the storm. As always, I appreciate you. Have a good one. Take it easy.